Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 67. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, this is it. It's a big day. Class RP1 Championship. Eight laps around the Nürburgring. We have one hour and 51 minutes to try and beat. Uh, this is around the Nord Cypher. Obviously, you see the track temps, the wind speed. I don't think any of that actually matters for this game. But we are taking pretty much the fastest uh, race car in this game. We're taking the Ferrari one, which has 9.9 uh, .9 handling, 9.9 .9 corner in, 9.9 uh, .9 brake in. It's just crazy fast. We are starting at the back of the grid, though. It's classed as the slowest car here, but... By God, it's fucking quick. We're going to find out now. We're off. No, no, no. 12,000 RPM on that rev gauge there. Take a break before. Nah, we ain't taking no breaks. We are going. Because I want to get this race done. You forgot that I am from Sweden line. Unbelievable, Aaron. You've let us down. Speedy man, Maji. This thing is insanely fast. It's been nearly two years since I've done this. Uh, also, Pandy, I won't be able to tag you on Discord, so uh, come back in 50 minutes. I will not be able to tag you, because I'll be racing, so... Oh my god. Epic Games is sending me messages. I don't care. I'm streaming. Not too bad. This thing does feel like it's on rails. A little bit like how a Formula 1 car drives. It's, it's pretty stuck. Good voice. I'll admit he's got a good voice. Not my kind of song, though. I'll leave it playing just because I can't skip it. But, yeah, not my style of music. Yeah, I'm not into this kind of music. I'm into heavier stuff.
not hard rock. Um, sort of like heavy metal kind of vibes. That's why when you listen to my uh, favourites playlist, which will continue after this song, you'll hear a couple of heavy metal songs in there. This thing's on rails. Problem is, the only time we're going to get a good lap time is this first lap, so I'm going to try and make this count. <laughs> yeah, list them out. Um... Send them to me on Discord, though, so I can check them out afterwards so that they don't get obscured by the Twitch chat. Because we've obviously got eight laps of this. Which is quite a lot. Decompression. We're in the final quarter of this lap. Decompression. Oh, gone wide. Decompression. Not bad. This thing's fucking glued. Wow. If it wasn't for the few mistakes, we would have been under seven minutes for that lap. Easily. We're going to have three pit stops as well during this. If I want that ass... What? That makes no sense. Uh, Fallen, you 100% should get yourself a large pizza and just scoff that. Yeah, go buy a damn kebab pizza. This thing's got so much downforce towards the front and the rear.
Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I'm probably going to do it this, uh, either Saturday or Sunday. I really want to make a kebab pizza. Come on, we got this. No, cannot do that. That's a crime. Managed to save the car just about from uh, sticking into the grass again. Starting to see a bit of tyre wear towards the rear of the car. I went into reverse by accident. Ball bag. So far, no damage to the car. Now that I've said that, I've jinxed it. I don't know, too bad. Armrest, stay where you are. Yeah, so those rear tyres are starting to light up. See a little hint of yellow there. Oh, get back on. There we go. Back on track. 46 seconds behind so far. Not too bad. I'll take it. Just concerned how this car is going to handle. After what is pretty much an entire lap of heavy race, uh, entire two laps of heavy racing. We're not going to get around that final corner very easily, that's for sure. And the funny thing is, the pit straight isn't even actually in the same spot on this track. As you normally expect it. It's like halfway along the... It, it's at the end of the straight. So you cross the finish line, and then you've got another 30, 30 or so seconds before you can actually get to the pit lane. Still a lot of grip, though. break the car. Yeah, no thanks. I would like to get across the line where the car looks pretty good. Surprisingly, those rear tires are completely lit up. 
They're pretty much on low health. But they're still extremely grippy. Which is extremely strange. But I never let go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna struggle to make it to the pits. I'm trying to like make it to the pits, you know? Holy crap. How the hell did I do that? <laughs> we had no fuel. That was so sketchy. There we go. We should be fine though because every single time now we don't have that extra distance to do. So. It's just going to be very close to running out of fuel. That's for sure. But I never let go. What do you mean, how is it an hour? Well, we've done two laps, and that's taken 15 minutes. So you add another, oh, I don't know, six laps. That's an extra 45 minutes. 15 plus 45 is an hour. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of the cars have gone into the pits, which is why the entire game is running at, like, half speed. Put the half hour on that because you don't know how to play. Well, clearly, there won't be an extra half hour. How does that work? How has your brain worked that one out then, Aaron? Unbelievable. But I'll never let go. But I'll never let go, but I'll never let go. But I'll never let go. This is what I'm into, Arid. This kind of heavy stuff. I went into reverse again. What? Why did the Xbox guy just open? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. I just came up out of nowhere. 
didn't even press that button. Unbelievable. Xbox is doing some weird shit. Don't underdo a pizza. You just make it so it's still soft. It's cooked, but soft. Don't let it burn. Any, uh, to be honest, anyone that's ever cooked me a pizza has always overdone it. There you go, not bad. Yes, a very strange time for someone to appear. <laughs> Gone wide again. Gone wide because I'm fat. Ah! Oh! Good old Jenin. Dylan and Dylan. Unbelievable falling. <laughs> oh no, we got a bit of damage. Bugger, we were doing so well. I 
I will never back down! Meow 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 We got nearly a one minute lead so far Not bad Running back to you. I ain't running back. Bululu. Bing bing bing. Bidloom bidoom. Boom boom bidoom. Bing bing bing. Bing bing bing. Bing 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 Lilling. I wish for your car to do a three sixty. Well, uh, no, bad luck. Bing bing bing. Bing bing. Bing 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 I don't want to lose that rear wing. Because if I lose the rear wing, it's going to look weird. We might lose downforce. I'm not 100% sure if uh, it simulates you losing downforce if you lose the rear wing. Not 100% sure on that one, Mr. Forza Motorsport.
Bloody hell, this thing is flat out. Life is on speed. Feel it in the base. I'm gonna stand up. Ah. Your legs feel dead. Ooh, ah, stretch. Oh, Jesus. Feet down. Bloody hell. Right, into the pits we go. And I gotta make sure we do the repairs that we need. Ooh. Lovely. Right. Back on track. I'm sat down again. Let's get going. So we are past the halfway part now. The halfway mark, halfway point, whatever you want to call it. Sam Smith. Hey. Bloody hell, this car is something else. I've had fun with this game, I'll admit. As much as I've been frustrated by it, I've had fun. But it's definitely extremely satisfying to see all of those green boxes on the spreadsheet. Which means pretty much the entire game is complete. There is no physical way I can imagine an actual real life car go around that corner at 170 miles an hour. That just seems daft. Ugh. 
Not bad. Once we move on to Motorsport 2 though, we'll have a much, much smoother experience, both for me, when it comes to actually playing the game, because it'll run at 60 FPS, and a much smoother viewing experience as well, because it's at 60 FPS. So, everyone benefits from the next games being much better. Bram, 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 bram. Ah, uh, no, I got steering problems. Well, looks like that's gonna be after a. Uh, fuck it. I'm just gonna stop talking. Cause. I can't speak. I've fucked my head. Come on, get back on the track. This is actually going to be extremely difficult to control now. Because this track requires accuracy. And if your steering is even a slight bit off, you're just going to keep going off the track. Not bad. The wing mirror is flopping. Because she spoke words that would melt in your hands and she spoke words of wisdom to the basement people to the basement many surprises away you <laughs> so get in the car seat cause you're not up to going No, we're gonna find you, so get in the car and see, cause you're not up to going. She spoke words that would melt in your hand. What is tune? I can't remember what this song was on. I think it was on... Uh, Horizon, uh, not Horizon. Gran Turismo 5? Gran Turismo 4? No. It was either Gran Turismo 5 or GT5 Prologue. Honestly, Gran Turismo 5's music choice was amazing. Gran Turismo 6 was amazing. 
Gran Turismo Sport was perfect. It was the best music choice in any Gran Turismo game. Gran Turismo 7, utter disappointment. The soundtrack was what let that Gran Turismo 7 down dramatically. The better songs are actually in the actual um, lobby music. They're not actually in the races. You're not up to going. Find you to so get in the car seat because you're not up to going. Come on, we got this. Just got this lap to do, and then we're on to the final stint. Holy shit. Pandy is right. What do you mean Pandy is right? What did Pandy say? Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, it's not that difficult. Just actually talking fucking chat. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> you know. Bum, 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 bum. Not too bad. Really got to get this um, put back into um, into the pits and get it repaired. What do you mean you don't have a controller for the PC? Do you have a PlayStation controller or a Xbox controller or something? You must have one. <laughs> Bum, bum, ba -na 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 -na. Yeah, use the PS4 controller. You can use that on PC. Bum, bum. I use my PS5 controller on PC. They both work exactly the same. They're basically the exact same controller, except this one has a couple of extra features. Yeah, you can use it wirelessly on a PC. I use mine wirelessly. Just connect it via Bluetooth. And then download a software called DS4 Windows. Which basically allows you to use a DualShock controller on a Windows PC. Jobs are good in. You can get your PC Bluetooth for about 10 quid. 
Just buy a little adapter. If you search up TP-Link Bluetooth adapter, it'll cost you barely anything. Bum bum, bum bum, bum. How is that too much work? You plug in the adapter and Windows auto detects it. That's like one of the easiest tasks that you could do. Fair enough. No, 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 no. Come on, get to that finish line. Bloody hell. Right. We have two more laps left to go. And we will get this done and dusted. Too much work's too tight, find one and buy it. What? That makes no sense. Get in the pits. Not bad. How is it too much work to try and find one? Genuinely, I will find you one in 20 seconds. Watch this. Bluetooth USB. Found one. I've got it. <laughs> I've copied the link and I've done it in the time it's taken me in the pit. I will even... Uh, absolutely butchered that. Even send it to you. There you go. Not too hard. Took zero time. Remember, Amazon is a nationwide company. Like, a worldwide company. Amazon exists in Sweden. <laughs> yes, all you do is change the URL at the top from UK to dot Sweden or whatever the Swedish one is. It will still work. <laughs> <laughs> On holiday. Oh, your ball bag. There you go. 
I love how the only thing damaged on the front of the car is that wing mirror. But according to the game, the front of the car is completely destroyed. Logic makes no sense. Oh yeah, just change the URL link to say from Amazon.co.uk to whatever Sweden has. Dot SW or something? I don't know. You know when you type in a website in Sweden and it comes up with the website name dot something? Just put that dot something at the end of the Amazon instead of dot co dot UK. You'll get the same result. God, that's basic PC stuff. <laughs> Why? Oh, you asked me if I want to know. Well, probably should have worded it slightly differently. But yeah, sure. How much is it in in uh, Sweden? <laughs> I can only assume it'd probably be about 75 to 100 kroner. If it's around that price point, then that's a pretty good deal. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. <laughs> Not too bad. Car behind is 22 seconds, what? Why is the car behind 22 seconds behind? I don't like that at all. My shadow. I think the car behind just didn't pit. Because there's no way it's gained 30 seconds in a lap. Uh, uh. 100 to 200 kroner. It's not too bad. Little bit of contact everywhere. Right, we got one more lap left to go. Uh, Aaron, do me a favor, message Pandy and tell Pandy we're on the last lap of the race. If you can. Don't want to spend that on that little thing. It doesn't matter about the size of it, it's the functionality it brings. 
You realise in your PC you spent 200 quid on a thing that big? Something like 2,000 krona on something that size called a CPU? You know. Size doesn't matter. Otherwise, if I'm spending, you know... City sleeps and I'm the only one and I walk up. You think, I've got a little USB stick thing down here to allow me to use my, yeah, Pandy. To use my PS5 controller on my Xbox that cost me £40. About 500 kroner. Well worth it. Well worth every penny. I think that car behind went into the pits. There's no... Oh, never mind. No, it didn't. No, 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 no. I crashed my car into a cop car the other day. Well, he drove off of the That's okay. Got to keep an eye out on that car behind statistic that will pop up in a bit. Okay, yay. And we'll all fall on anyway. Awesome. Cheers for that one, Aaron. Panda asked to get pinged, but I cannot ping at the moment, because obviously I'm in, in a race, so... I can't pause it. Well, I can pause it. It just means I've got to then edit it all. A little more hassle. I can't be bothered, so... And we'll all float on, okay, Oh no, right. Not too bad. Twenty two seconds still. It's a good time. Mm -hmm. 
There you go, just about got away with that one. Coming up to the carousel. Right, not bad. Probably, knowing him. Might have fallen asleep. Which would be funny. Meow, 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 meow. <clears throat> well, I got one... Uh, we're on the final sector. So we're in the final quarter of this race. Or final quarter of this event. Sorry, final quarter of this lap. End of this race. God. My brain's fried. I've done too much Forza. I'm going to take a two week break off of Forza. Bam, 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 Yep, it was not right. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I'm taking a week off Forza, then doing that stream, and then taking another week off Forza, so. Oh, balls! Wow. And a massive crash at the end there. Which is just great. Right, we're not going to get this in 15 seconds. I don't think we're going to get sub t uh, sub one hour, but we'll probably beat the one hour 51 we have before. One hour. One hour 11. What a result. And officially, that is Forza completely finished. Forza Motorsport 1 completely finished. We got the Porsche 17 uh, 962. We got some Gran Turismo photos of that. Not too bad. 100% completion. Thank you, DH Aaron. Thank you, Wolfie Park. Uh, I'll give uh, Pandy a shout out. Thank you, Pandy Chan. And Sir Fallen. Appreciate you for being here for this final race. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.